Hey guys, it's Willie from SwartePanda.com. Welcome back. Uh, today I want to answer a question that a lot of um, family, friends, and just people from my past uh, work lives have been asking me. They're, they're seeing that uh, people such as myself have been making some, some okay money in the markets. And they're kind of asking if um, they should quit and actually try training for themselves. And my question for 99% of the people is no. Um, trading is a very difficult endeavor in general. It's just like any other um, business. Uh, everybody thinks it's easy in the beginning, but then once you go through it yourself and then you see the kind of losses that could happen and I, for most people, I would say no. I would say hang on to your job for as long as you can. There are a few f few reasons for this. Um, one, there's a little bit more security. Um, with trading, there's no such thing as like a regular paycheck. You kind of have to set up your 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 training in such a way that you can kind of, kind of come close to having a regular paycheck. So for example, what you can do is you can buy uh, four dividend paying stocks that that have their schedules on, let's say a look, stock A would be like a March, June, and then a September and then December uh, payout schedule. And then the stock B would be uh, February, May, uh, uh, August, and then November cycle, and then so on and so forth. So that um, every month you would have a, a series of um, dividend payouts and you can kind of make your your payment schedule a little bit more regular but even then it's it's a lot of you, you need a lot of capital for that to work and even if you sell uh, covered calls against um, these type of stocks I think you could there's a case that could be made that you can kind of come close to a a 20% return depending on what kind of stocks tr you trade and what kind of stocks dividend paying stocks that you um, that you buy so you can kind of come close so and even then a 20% return it's not a guarantee uh, if you think of like the best uh, investors in the world such as Warren Buffett uh, Howard Marks etc like the best hedge fund managers um, supposedly Warren Buffett since 1965 has has come to a uh, you know a 20% annualized return and that's Warren Buffett and this is Howard Marks these are like the best investors in the world do you think you can come close to 20% a year uh, on your entire portfolio not just uh, you know a stock here and there maybe you got lucky um, I know some folks they they make it appear that it's easy uh, like maybe they bought a uh, they just happened to buy like 100 shares of Tesla when it was like, you know, $10 or something. And then they've been sitting on it for a while. And now if that's you, uh, one, congratulations. And number two, please consider taking some profits because we don't know how long um, this, this bull market will last. Uh, so please consider taking some profits. You don't have to sell everything. Um, just maybe sell off enough to at least give yourself a, like a nice cushion just in case um and, and i know some people there are still you know they're, they're kind of fighting and they're like but i see everybody else making easy money etc um look if you're gonna look i'm not a financial advisor i'm just like if i was your friend and i was and i heard you um saying these type of things i would say one um step back uh you know sit down take a deep breath think about it um now if you're a single person like myself then you know it's a little easier because all you have to do is just support yourself but if you have a family um please talk it over with your spouse first um so if your spouse is working and they just happen to have a a, a comprehensive um uh health health plan uh, you want to make sure at least like the insurance premiums are paid up so number one, to make sure um, you have that at least. And then number two, I strongly, strongly recommend a uh, emergency fund. Some people say like you should have at least like six months. I'm gonna go a step further and say have 
a minimum of one year, two years is better. And I'm speaking from personal experience. Um, I've got burned in training, um, you know, in the past. I've actually tried to quit um, of, uh, two prior times, and each time, like, I had to actually go back to work for for a little bit just to um, kind of reseed my capital. It's not as easy as you as you think. Um, even with the uh, like, like a good good uh, option strategy such as the wheel of fortune it takes a while to kind of build up your your capital and then if there's a a sudden like downdraft like we saw earlier in um, february march of 2020 you could be taking a big hit uh not just in financial terms but in terms of um like your mental uh health uh some people can't can't handle that type of um, sudden downdraft in, in their wealth and you want to make sure that, that you keep yourself um, sane um, and you know helping uh, other people such as like you know writing my own blog on SwartyPanda.com and um, just having this YouTube channel I think that's helpful in terms of uh, uh, one just keeping like contact with like-minded people and then two um, it, it kind of like you want to articulate your opinions and that you can share um, with other people like that you care about that um to make sure that that one you're okay and number two like you get to share like um helpful financial um tips with other people um so there's that um and and when you first start out with your capital i would say a, a minimum a bare bones minimum minimum is one hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars, and there's two reasons for that. Uh, number one, uh, I mean, a good return would be about twenty percent per year, but in some years you might be you might do a lot better, and then in some years you're just flat, or and then in the worst case scenario you're down like twenty five percent a year. Um, so you have to make sure you're your capital size is sufficient to survive these type of downdrafts and let's but let's let's take like more optimistic let's say in the first year that you can return 20 percent a year uh so 20 percent of 150,000 is 30,000 that's not a lot of money um and especially depending on where you live if you live in like on the coast like it's uh, you're barely scraping by if if so, um, even for a single person, let's say you're, you're crashing with your friends or you're living with your family for a while um, in order to make it, um, it, it's barely scraping by. The I know it's kind of unfair, like, but I mean that's just the way things are right now. Like, the more money you have, the more starting capital that you have, um, the easier it is to survive. Um, just like from a practical standpoint. Um, so this way, um, you can just live off your profits, and uh, you can like have that capital keep keep working for you. Ideally, um, the more money that you have, like the better it is for you to to actually be able to quit. Um, but maybe if you have like other side hustles, maybe you have your your own uh, YouTube channel, and that's actually successful. Uh, unlike me, where like right now I, I barely get any views and. Um, at the time of this video, I don't think I have any subscribers yet, but I'm hoping, you know, um, you know, over time, I'm able to, to pick some people up and, and you know, help them out, and then they see the value, and then they actually subscribe. Um, and speaking of which, if you could um, like and subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated if you find some value. Um, and then the second uh, reason is that depending on who you trade with, I myself... Um, the bulk of my trading assets are in Tastyworks, and there was a big reason for that. I um, I also trade with um, Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade, but Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade will eventually become one company. So I'm a little bit leery as to what's going to happen with the my my trading abilities. Um, they might only let me trade just regular um, cash secured puts, and maybe just cover calls, and that would be it. And and that would actually be okay. I think you can squeak out maybe fifteen to twenty percent from from those trading assets. Um, it, it puts a little uh, makes it a little bit more difficult, um, but it's not the end of the world. Um, 
I like taste the works just because it's built for uh, option traders and even just other derivatives traders in general. And the the key reason is that uh, Tasty Works, I believe, um, the the minimum for a portfolio margin account is one hundred twenty five thousand, and then uh, maintenance could also be up to one hundred seventy five thousand um, dollars. And I and I'm over those requirements, so it's very helpful from a from a leverage standpoint. Um, you can get up to up to six to one in terms of uh, buying power. So what that means is that, um, say you put up um, uh, one dollar, and they'll and they'll set you up with a dollar five dollars to kind of like give you like a multiplier effect on your money. Um, so it's really helpful for um, if you see like a maybe like a really good opportunity, but at the at that point in time you don't have enough capital, you might be able to squeeze in like a full position and take advantage of that. But you have to be really careful because in times of market volatility, um, your buying power could be reduced and then you have to put in more money to, to meet like the, um, their uh, uh, margin requirements. So the way they have it set up is a little bit different. Instead of like taking out a loan to, to purchase a stock or, or other security, um, they, they actually just give you uh, buying power, uh, so that means like you don't have to put up as much um, to buy a particular security. Um, but I can talk about that more in a future video. I think the, uh, for this particular video, for this topic, um, if you wanted to quit and, and become a full-time trader, I would th seriously think about it first. Make sure you're financially prepared just in case um, you make some really um, bad decisions or, or unlucky decisions, and you, you know, you don't want to wind up in the street or put your family um, in harm's way just because, like you, you, um, you know, you you messed up and you need to go back to work again. Um, so I, I don't want that to be more of a kind of like a bummer video, but I wanted to make it more of a um, like a realistic video, like you know, trading. It, it has its perks uh, in that, like, you know, the hours aren't as long as some jobs, and then um, you, you, you know, you're not, you're not like digging a ditch or like you're, you're not in a cave somewhere, like, like a, you know, pounding rocks or something. Um, far from it. Um, I think it's very mentally engaging. Uh, well, assuming you you make the right decisions and you and you make some money. But it's not always going to be this way. Um, so in, in future videos, I'm going to actually touch on this. I think we have a short window of opportunity to to make um, a lot of money in a relatively short amount of time. Um, but I don't want to give you guys like the wrong impression that it's just like oh it's it's easy money. It it appears to be easy money right now, but in the past it wasn't always like this. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys like a thoughts from like a, you know, my, my goodness, it's been almost like 20 years of, of uh, investing and trading. And I wanted to give you guys more of a realistic um, view instead of like hyping up like some, like my own trading course or like some, some newsletter or, or products or, or something. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Um, the affiliate links that I do have, they're, they, I don't actually get much out of it. Um, so and, and I'm just making a because originally I I started making this just for uh, family friends and um, old colleagues that I you know, people that I, that I generally care for, um, but I actually I think it's helpful for um, just like like the mass consumption on on YouTube as well. So you know hopefully this helps somebody it gives you realistic um, expectations, and then. Um, if you guys have your own uh, comments and thoughts, uh, please feel free to uh, leave them down below. Um, you know, please be respectful to other people. I know there's a lot of um, people that are that are interested, um, but I would, my suggestion would be keep your um, your day job as long as possible, and then try to um, scale up your your training um, while you're while you still have a like more of a steadier job and steadier income and then like you know if you have health benefits that's also like a plus and then 
once you make like like this whole big chunk of money then you can kind of consider uh quitting um just all together but you know for now uh hang tight um i really hope to share uh more inspirational uh kind of videos uh, for investing and training in the future and thank you for watching and have a great one guys see you